So starting with the simplest possible C program, use it to understand the basics of C and the C compilation process. Type the following program into a standard text editor. Well, we're going to use Replit. Can I, can I close you? Yeah. Make sure your editor does not automatically append some extra characters. We don't have to worry about that. And type in included studio.h integer main. I noticed that when this thing gives you a blank template, uh, it always includes the word void, the keyword void. But it seems to compile without any problems whether you use it or not. So that's something I don't know. I don't know why. And it would be of interest. Uh, a computer program is the key to the digital city. If you know the language, you can get a computer to do almost anything you want, like make money. And when executed, this program instructs the computer to print out the lines. This output from my first program, and then the program quits. All right, well, let's. I typed it out. Let's run it. There you go. This is output from my first program right there. Here's what happened when you compiled the program. If you mistype the program, it'll either not compile or it will not run. Well, let's try that. Here, I'll just uh, take a bracket off. Print. We get errors. Expected function body after function declarator. The declarator. Sounds like a scary guy. Um, when you enter this program, position pound include so that the pound sign is in column one. The far left side. I guess what they're saying is you can't indent this. You can't have a space here because that will make it not work. Otherwise, spacing and indent indentation can be any way you like it. On some Unix systems, you'll find a program called CB, the C Beautifier, which will format code for you. Right. So I would imagine that some kind of IDE program would allow you to uh, beautify your code when you make a mistake. The spacing indentation shown above is a good example to follow. So I noticed that I have, I have viewers popping in and out, but I don't see them. I don't see who they are. I don't know. I mean, I can't understand why anybody would stick around, but I also wonder, like, if I have a viewer, shouldn't I be able to see Someone's viewing, and then I can say, hey, guy, how are you doing today? I don't know. Oh, let's do another one, another page, because that one was just too easy. Let's walk through this program and start to see what the different lines are doing. The C program starts with include stdio.h. This line includes the standard input-output library into your program. So an include statement basically brings parts of different code located elsewhere wholesale into your program so that you don't necessarily have to have all that uh, code in your code. Cleans, it keeps everything clean. It's sort of like a, it's like a, a, a bit like an iframe in HTML. Eh, that's, not a good, that's not a good metaphor. Never mind. It's an input. It lets you read input from the keyboard called standard in. All right, and this is something about C that I, I don't really get and that is really different from uh, Python or something. But they, you need to really input, you need to specify what your input and your output are. Standard in is usually the keyboard. And then write output to the screen, which is standard out. And I mean, in my limited understanding of computers, why would you have anything else? What, would you, what else would you be outputting to? or inputting from. Uh, let's see, process text files stored on the disk and so on. It's an extremely useful library. C has a large number of standard libraries like STDIO, including string time and math libraries. So that's, that's uh, standard. A library is simply a package of code that someone else has written to make your life easier. And we'll discuss libraries a bit later, okay. The line int main declares the main function. Every C program must have a function named main somewhere in the code. It's sort of like the home function. It's like where everything happens. It's where C is happening now. 
Uh, runtime program execution starts at the first line in the main function. You can see the open and close curly bracket symbols right here and here mark the beginning and end of a block of code. In this case, the block of code makes up the main function between two lines. And the printf statement in C allows you to send output to standard out for us, which is the screen. The portion in quotes is called the format string. Format string, I don't know why the, like it's just a string. What the? It's just a string right here. A string, for anyone who doesn't know, is text in a program because a computer is not smart enough to know if the things that you're typing in are variables or, you know, they could be integer place names or anything else. To understand that this is a piece of text that I might need to output in a message, it has to be in quotes. And that's pretty universal. Uh, it describes how data is to be formatted when printed. The format string can contain string literals such as this output, this is output for my first program, or hello world. Hello world. Programmed to work and not to feel. And operators such as placeholders for variables. If you're using Unix, you can type man3 printf to get a complete document, complete documentation for the printf function. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's try that. What happens if I if I do man3 printf and then run that? No, it doesn't understand what the heck you're talking about. Uh, return zero causes the function to return an error code of zero, which is no error. Error, no error. That is classic computer science, computer type thinking. What's the error, no error? It's the no error error. But basically, that's telling the program, hey, we successfully finished. We got to the end. Just as I feel I have successfully got to the end of this stream. <laughs>